What's up guys? In uh, this tutorial I'm going to show you real quick how you would go about if you have any route with parameters. So in my database interface class I've created a function called getColorById which needs the ID of the color that we're getting and it's nothing too uh, fancy really, it just selects all from my table where the ID equals the variable that I get here and uh, and uh, the problem is getting this variable into the class of course in a generic way so in my index file I've done some modifications so in previous implementation we had something that, that looks like this which kind of works uh, as long as you don't have any variables and in this case we want to insert the ID in here. So for example, if I want to select the color with the ID 1, I would need to add uh, the uh, integer 1 in here. But the problem with this is that we don't have any generic way of adding n parameters. So what would happen if I, for example, would have uh, something that looks like this? where I get some unspecified number of parameters into my routes. So how would you do that? Well, one, one solution to it is to do like I did here. I still instantiate the new controller and what I do next is I just collect my parameters into to a different variable. And in PHP, this will be copied by value, so whatever I do to this variable won't affect the get variable. And then I remove the controller and the action variables from this uh, params variable that I created, because I don't want to pass these along to my uh, function that I'm calling. So that's why I do it like this. And then instead of calling it like I did here, I use a function called call user func array from PHP and you can look into the documentation uh, exactly how it works. Um, let me see if I can find it. So here you can see on this URL and the PHP documentation you can see how exactly it works. And um, what I do is I have two arrays. The first array is the class instance and then the function that I want to call on the class and of that I I just pass along the parameters that I want to pass so in my case this will be the ID of the color that I want to select and it will automatically be inserted in here so in order to test if this works I have the same action, uh, but I specify the get color by ID instead, and the controller is the same as before. And I can pass along anything that I like in here afterwards. So what I want to do is I want to select the color ID of one, which will be brown, and I can test it with some other stuff as well. Well, the important thing here is to mention the names that in the implementation doesn't really care about the variable name here. The only thing that it cares about is the order in which it comes. So if I specify something in here that looks like this, I don't have any color for the ID 33. Uh, it doesn't really matter. But if I change the order of these, so if I remove this one, and put it over here instead. It'll use the name as the ID instead because it'll iterate over it from the left to right. So this will actually end up being the ID variable in the end. And we can make sure uh, that this works as expected. So if I do something like this, it still works, it used the color 3. But if I go in here and 
add the variable in here. And I can just var dump it to see what the value of it is. You should see that it's passed along uh, to the actual route. So this is the first step of using route parameters. And I hope you guys liked it and I'll see you in the next tutorial.